patients fear silicone rupture. The good news is there is no evidence showing that a ruptured silicone implant will cause you any ill health effects. Silicone has been studied for many, many years, and there's never been an association between a ruptured silicone implant, or frankly, any other kind of silicone in your body, and any other known and established disease. But still, we as a profession in plastic surgery make a recommendation that if your implant is broken, that you remove and replace the implant. Now, sometimes you'll know the implant's ruptured because it suddenly changes in its appearance. It was once hard and suddenly got soft. There was an upper bulge and suddenly the upper bulge goes away. Or instead of becoming soft, sometimes the implant just gets hard. But often patients will just say, it suddenly looked very different to me. Other patients will come in with a suspected rupture on their MRI or ultrasound or mammogram. The MRI is considered to be the gold standard for evaluating ruptured silicone implants. But even the MRI isn't perfect, meaning that it's conceivable that someone could have a break and the MRI not pick it up. Though most of the time the MRI is very sensitive at picking it up. The more common problem though is that the MRI says that it's broken when it's not broken. So if the MRI says you're broken, the standard of care in the medical community is to suggest that you remove the implant. But at the same time you should also know depending upon the radiologist that read the MRI, because it's very sub susceptible to interpretation, there's probably about a 1 in 5 to 1 in 10 chance that the implant is not actually broken. And so that you'd be doing the surgery, and you get in there and the surgeon says, gee, the implant's not ruptured. Still in those situations that we usually replace it, right? You're already asleep, we're already there, might as well start the clock afresh with a new implant. But understand that even if an MRI says it's broken, it's not guaranteed to be broken. So what do we do if there's a ruptured silicone implant? Usually we remove the silicone and the implant and if the capsule around it is very thin and pliable and not restricting the shape of the implant, we leave the capsule in. If however the capsule is thickened or the capsule is restrictive of the shape of the breast, then we'll remove that doing what we call a capsulectomy. So whatever we do is very adjustable to exactly what's going on with each patient. And all I'm trying to do here is give you a little bit of an overview on what we do to manage a ruptured silicone gel implant.